everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a full set of really pretty colorful ombre nails so the first thing that i'm doing is just going in with a cuticle pusher and i'm just pushing back those cuticles remember this is going to just help expose the new growth and also help with reduced lifting so this is a step that you do not want to skip i always get the question whether you can skip pushing back the cuticles or not and i suggest that you just go ahead and do it because it's not a hard step at all and it's very crucial to whether you're going to get lifting or not but anyways after we finish pushing back the cuticles we're going in with a 180 sending band and this is just going to help remove the shine from the natural nail remember you don't want to use anything more coarse than a 180 because we're literally just removing the shine we don't want to thin down the nail or anything literally just removing that shiny layer from the nail if you look at your nails right now and you don't have any acrylics or just no polish at at, at all whatsoever your nails are going to be shiny and that's just from the oils that our body produce and if we apply acrylic on top of that shiny layer our nail or the acrylic is going to come off really really easily so that's why we have to go in and remove the shine that's kind of like water and oil they just don't mix together it's the same thing the acrylic is not going to stay on over a shiny nail so after we finish removing the shine i'm gonna go in and apply the nail tips and these nail tips are actually some of the ones that i get from my local nail supply store um, they are a bit longer than the ones that i usually use but they're also a little bit thinner and flimsier so i do have to be a lot more careful whenever i'm actually shaping up the nails um, but as always whenever we're applying the nail tips we make sure that the tips fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall you don't want them to be too big or too small because if not you could get lifting or breakage so again make sure that the nail tip fits from sidewall to sidewall and then if one tip is too small and the other one is too big always go with the bigger one and just file it down on a size to make the nail tip fit perfectly but you never want to apply it if it's too small or you never want to apply it if it's too big and then your nail tips they usually come in a number zero to a number nine or ten and number zero is always going to be your biggest nail tips and then number nine and ten are going to always be um your smallest nail tips so that would be like your pinky um number five and six are usually like your ring fingers and so on and so forth so again we're just applying the nail tips i'm using the kds glue which works really really good and also make sure that when you're applying the nail tips you're holding their finger really straight that way you make sure that the nail is you know on there um not crooked basically um, and then also another little tip is when you're applying the nail tips make sure you put pressure whenever you're holding the tip down on their fingernail just because you don't want any little air bubbles to be in between the natural nail and the nail tip so make sure you press it down until you know the glue dries and then let it go and apply the next nail tip After we've applied the nail tips, I'm going to go in and just trim them down and I'm only trimming like the very tip of the nail tips down. I'm just using a tip cutter that I got on Amazon or you can always use just a regular nail clipper which I've seen people use. And then I've even seen people use scissors. Let me know if you use scissors for this step um, because I've seen people do that before. But anyways, once we finish trimming down the nails, we're going to go ahead and just trim the sides down and this is just going to help us save time whenever we start filing she's going to get them coughing so um this is going to help us a lot with reducing you know some of that filing time uh so again we're just trimming down the sides i'm using a straight edge nail clipper make sure that you are using a straight edge because the curved ones are they 
they're gonna cut a little too much so um, some people also use scissors for this step I'm just too scared that I would cut someone if I'm not careful um, but but whatever works for you is fine so again we're just trimming down the sides and then after this we're gonna go in with a 100 100 nail file to shape the nails and same as always we're going to be filing at a 45 degree angle on the side making sure that we alternate from side to side and then of course at the very tip we're kind of just going to round it off that way it's nice and pointy Okay, and here's a closer look at me falling. So as you can see, the nail tip is a bit flimsier. So make sure that you hold it when you're falling and just, you know, work a little bit slower if you're using nail tips that are pretty flimsy. Um, so again, 45 degree angle on these sides. And then we just round off the tip. Um, if you want it more rounded, then of course, you know, just don't file too much on the sides and then just round up the tip but if you want them really really pointy then just file all the way to where you know they're as pointed as you want them to be and then at the end we just blend the nail tip right in the middle and um that's just to make the acrylic look a lot more natural but um if you're using like colored acrylic of course you're not going to be able to see the nail tip anyways but i think for me it's just become like a habit because i always do it um so if you want to do it that's fine if not you know that's fine as well um but that was my real speed so again 45 degrees on the sides and then just round off the tips
All right, so after we finish shaping up the nails, I'm just going to go in and just dust the nails off. And then after that, I'm going in with the Young Nail Protein Bond, and I'm applying that on the natural nail. Make sure that you don't get it on the skin because if they have any little cuts, it could possibly burn them. So just be careful when you're doing this. After that, we're going to go in with the acrylic. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm just going in with my Mia Secret Clear, and I'm just going to do a thin layer over all of the nails. And and remember this is just so next time when she comes and she wants to get something different we can just fall away the colored acrylic and then she'll still have the clear underneath that way we don't have to do a new set next time she comes um, just because it's a lot on their nails you know having to take a set off do a new one take another set off do a new one again so it's better to just you know do that thin layer of acrylic and then that way you can just keep doing fills instead of full sets um yeah it's beneficial to some people that do new sets each time um but that would be like the nail tech it would be beneficial to the nail tech because she's able to charge for a soak off in a new set the next time but it's not beneficial for your client because you know so much filing can damage your clients now and then of course they're having to pay so much more money when they don't have to because you can just simply do the thin layer of acrylic underneath the colored acrylic um so anyways again this is the mia secret clear acrylic we're just doing a thin layer as always i'm using my alpha brush in a number 10 and i'll be sure to leave that link down in the description and then for my colored acrylics i'm going to be using the mia secret cover rose and then I'm going to be using some of my um, Nail Supply Glamour colored acrylics, which work really good for me. I actually just seen someone on um, in my comments asking if I could do a review on the colored acrylics. And I only have a few, but the few that I do have, I use them a lot. So it's usually like this pink. I have a purple. I have a blue. I, have, I just bought two neon yellow ones. Um... And I have a few others, but they work really, really good for me. And then the other ones that I have are by Mia Secret. Those are just a tad bit harder to work with. Um, the key to working with the Mia Secret colored acrylics is just to work a little bit more on the wetter side. Because if not, they will dry up really fast. Um, but again, all of the colors that I'm going to use today for this set are by Nail Supply Glamour. I do have a promo code for them, so I'll be sure to leave the link in the description. And this neon green or yellow, whatever color you want to call it, this one is actually the new one that I got from Nail Supply Glamour. I was using the, um, I think it was called Lemon Zest by um, Mia Secret, but I ran out. Or I, I think I actually still have just a little bit left, but I went ahead and restocked. And I didn't want to have to buy the whole kit um, you know, from Mia Secret, so I just ordered one from Nail Supply Glamour. Um, so for this finger, actually, I'm going to just do different colors. So it's going to be not a marble, but just, you know, like just different colors on the nail. And then as you can see, when I'm doing the ombre nails, I go ahead and just do the color on the tips and then let that kind of dry up and then come back and do the cover color and the clear over them to encapsulate them. So whatever works for you best, whether it's doing each finger at a time, you know, do the, the tip, um, do the cover color and then the clear and, you know, do that for each finger. Or if this is, you know, more helpful to you, that's fine as well. There's not a right or a wrong way to do it as far as like what steps you take. Um, but, you know, this is what is easier for me. So this is just how I do it. But anyways, um, for this index finger, as you can see, we apply the clear underneath, the colored acrylics. And then I'm just going in with the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic to encapsulate that. Um, if you guys notice, I kind of just use whether it's my pink or... Or in my clear is really just whichever one I grab first, but both of them work really good. So you can use clear, you can use the Mia Secret Pink, whichever one you like. But I know usually I just use the Mia Secret Pink because it's really translucent. And since that's the one that I always use um, for everything else, then I just go ahead and use that one. But again, whatever works for you is fine. Um, and then also whenever you're applying the acrylic, make sure that you clean around the cuticle area really good. And then also that you clean the sides of the nails. That way it doesn't take away from your shape because sometimes the acrylic will run over to the sides of the nails and then it will just either make your nail like the sides of the nail a lot wider or something. So this just helps with us keeping our shape. 
also very important that when you're applying your acrylic you look at the nail from different angles that way you just make sure that um you know you have a nice apex your tip is not too thin um especially when i'm using these tips which are a lot thinner i do have to apply just the you know a little bit more product just to help build you know the thickness at the tip um and especially because they are stiletto nails so you know stiletto nails i feel like they're more prone to breakage just because the tip is so narrow um but you just have to make sure that you apply enough acrylic but anyways now we're gonna go ahead and do the ombre nails and i'm just going in with the cover rose at the back and then i'm just going in with the mia Seca clear to encapsulate those remember you have to make sure that you encapsulate them because if not you will fall away some of that colored acrylic and it's going to make the nail look really patchy so again make sure you look at the nail from different angles to make sure you have the nice thickness and that's pretty much it so um, i'm just going to let you watch and i'll be right back Alrighty, so same thing we just apply the bead closer to the cuticle area pat it down and when i'm patting it down i'm moving it really close to the cuticle area but making sure that i don't get it on the skin so i go around that cuticle area and clean up really really good remember if you get any of that product on the skin and you let it dry up it's going to be really hard to take off and most likely you could get lifting and then i'm going to go in with a second bead again brushing it down um, but make sure you only brush like towards the middle you don't want to brush it all the way down towards the tip because you will take away from that ombre and then after that we're going to go ahead and do the clear over them to encapsulate both of the colors um so remember you know just add acrylic as needed um of course if your tip is still too thin then just go back in and apply more acrylic to the tip but don't just add acrylic just to add make sure that you're paying attention to your nail by looking at it from the side because just looking at it from the top like even just right here you know the nail just looks flawless it looks smooth we don't see any bumps or anything but whenever you turn it over to the side that's when you'll be able to tell that maybe your apex is too thin your tip could be too thin um and then if it's getting too thick don't add any more acrylic you know you can always even it out by filing at the end i know that's the problem that i see sometimes people see like a bump or lump and they start adding more acrylic to try to even the whole nail out and then they make the nail super super thick and then at the end they have to do so much filing that's why i say to work with a little bit of product at a time and when i say that i don't say to make the nails really thin because that's what someone assumed in one of my videos um they were saying that you know that was the worst advice because you know why would i tell someone to apply just a little bit of, of acrylic because the nails could break blah 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 whatever but what I mean is that you don't want to apply too much product at once just because, you know, you want to be able to control your product. You don't want to apply a big bead and then it runs all over the, um, you know, the cuticle area or whatever the case may be. So just work with a little bit at a time, but we still do the four ball method um, just, you know, to make sure that we build an apex to make sure that we have the right thickness at the tip and everything so um no we're not being stingy with our product we are just being smart with you know our application and this method works really good for me and for other people as well and that's all that matters but anyways we're gonna go ahead and just finish off this set and then for the thumb um i didn't do the tip or the color that's gonna go on the tip just yet but for that one we're gonna be doing like a peachy color which is also by nail supply glamour and it's a really pretty orange um and it's gonna be the same process for the other hand except for um we're gonna do like two colorful ombre nails on the other hand but it's all the same process Alrighty, so we applied the orange on the thumb. So now we're going to go ahead and do the clear on all of the nails. Uh, remember, we're just doing like a thin layer on them. 
um, that way you know when we come back and remove the colored acrylic we still have something there you don't want to apply it too thick because then the nails are going to be like super thick especially after you apply you know the two different colored acrylics and then after encapsulating the nail so make sure that you're not applying too much but that you apply enough to where it's still going to be there after we file the colored acrylics um, so again we're going to go ahead and do this on all of the nails and then we'll be back Alrighty, so for this hand, we're going to do the bright yellow or neon green or whatever you want to call it on the pinky. And we're going to do the ombre on that one. We're going to do the purple on the ring finger. We're going to do pink on the thumb. And then on the middle finger and the index finger, we're going to do an ombre as well. Except for we're going to really just add all of the colors on that one. Um, I've done that design before and it's really really pretty. I wish that I can do it on myself I'm pretty sure I can but I feel like it would be a lot harder um, But it's like the colorful ombre and then also now that I'm thinking about it I need to stock up on like my fall colored acrylics because I know a lot of people has been into the colored acrylic look So I definitely need to do that Um, so if you know of any other you know good brands that have colored acrylics Let us know because I know there's people out there that are always looking and asking you know about different brands um so just let us know if you have you know any um websites or any brands that you like as far as you know uh, when you purchase your colored acrylics but anyways for this nail as you can see we're applying the different colors on the tip going right from the very tip of the nail just towards the middle of the nail and you just randomly apply the colors you know however um and then after that we can go in with the cover rose um but first of course we do the colors on the tip we're gonna do the same thing on the index finger and i absolutely love 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 when i do nails like this because they're so freaking pretty and even if you just do them whether it's shiny or matte like it it's just so pretty so we're gonna go ahead and do again the same thing on this one and then afterwards we'll come back in with the cover rose Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Mia Secret Cover Rose. So same thing, we just apply the bead closer to the cuticle area, patting it down, and then brushing it down towards the middle and blend it really, really good. Um, remember that when you're working with the cover colors, you want to make sure that, you know, you work a little bit on the wetter side. That way they don't dry so fast. Um, but lately, you know, I haven't had any issues with the cover colors at all. I know before I was having a little problem with them lifting just a little bit, but I don't think I've been seeing that here lately. Um, and then, of course, once we apply the cover rose, we're going to go in and encapsulate it. And as you can see, um, I actually did forget i can't remember which one of these two um, i'm gonna forget to encapsulate but i'm i am gonna catch it at the end whenever i start filing so you will see me come back in and add the clear acrylic um at the end like later throughout the video um, but remember you want to make sure that you encapsulate all of your nails because once you start filing you will file away that colored acrylic and it's going to start looking a bit translucent, a bit patchy. Um, and you are going to notice because that's what happened to me. And obviously it's going to be the, uh, what is that, the middle finger that I forgot to encapsulate. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, after this, we're going to go ahead and do the cover rows on the rest of the nails. And then of course, do the pink on the thumb. And then that'll be it for this set. So I'm just going to let you watch and then I'll be back.
All right, so after we finish applying the acrylic, I'm going to go in with the same 100-100 nail file. And we're just going to reshape the nails. Of course, we already have that stiletto shape that we want. We just have to go in and redefine that shape. So same thing, 45 degree angle on the side. And then just rounding off our tip um, to make sure that, you know, we have a really nice point. And after this, we're going to go in with the e-file and just file all of the nails.
Okay, so we're done shaping up the nails. So now I'm going to go in with my Scarlet Nail Drill. And I'm using my Extra Fine Drill Bed by Pana. And I get that one from Amazon. Um, so now we're just going to be filing all of the nails. Of course, we always do the cuticle area first. So I start on the right side, working my way around to the left side. Just going back and forth until I'm able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. And then, of course, following the rest of the nail. And this middle finger is actually the nail that I forgot to encapsulate. And I noticed because I was looking at it and I was like, this nail looks thin. You see me like steady looking at it. So, of course, I'm going to go in with my Mia Secret Clear to make sure that, you know, it's nice. And we have the nice apex and we have a nice thickness at the tip. So, make sure that, you know, you look for things like that don't just like look over them because if not if i would have left it like that it would have broke off pretty easily because the nail was pretty thin without the clear uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and finish applying the clear and then we'll be finishing off uh, filing the rest of the nails Okay, so I finished applying the clear on that middle finger. So now we're going to go ahead and finish filing. So I slowed this down so you guys can see how I actually do it. Uh, so I start from the right side, work my way all the way around to the left side. And then also just filing the rest of the nail while I'm working. Remember that when you're filing with your e-file, you want to make sure that you do not keep your drill in one spot for too long. Because it will cause friction and it will cause your client's nail to burn. So if you've ever experienced that then um, you're either leaving it in one spot for too long or you're putting too much pressure on the nail so make sure that you're careful as you can see when I'm filing I hold like my or I put my pinky on their finger and I feel like that just gets me more stability and also it helps me not put too much pressure on the nail so you're gonna find little things like that that will help with you know just not being so heavy-handed um, so again just fall around the cuticle area from the right side going all the way around to the left side and then also just following the rest of the nail and then as you can see here I'm just trying to get a little bit of that acrylic that was on the right side closer to the tip uh, I was just trying to get that off so um, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all of the nails and we'll be back
Alrighty, so now I can go in and file the nail that I went back and applied more acrylic on. So same thing, filing from the right side all the way around to the left side. And then I'm also going to go in and just reshape it. Um, just again, because of course we went in and applied more acrylic to it so it can take away from the shape. After this, we're going to go in with the buffer. We're going to buff the nails really, really good. And this is just going to get rid of those scratches left on the nail from the e-file or the hand file. Okay, so now I'm just going in with an alcohol wipe to just wipe the nails off and remove any of that excess dust off the top of the nail. And then after this, we're going to be applying some bling to the nails. So I'm using my Soleil nail adhesive. I'm using some of my bigger pieces and my SS6 and SS12. And then, of course, my wax pencil. We're just applying them on the nail. And then afterwards, once we have all of the bling on the nails, as always, we're going to spray the bling with the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator. And that's just going to help the glue dry a lot faster just because it's not like regular glue. It's actually an adhesive, so it's a little bit bit thicker um, which means that it's going to take just a little bit longer to dry so with the um, activator is basically just going to freeze or like I call it freezing but it's going to just dry that glue instantly so that way you can go ahead and apply the top coat if you've ever tried to use the gel resin which whether it was the Soleil nail adhesive or the Mia Secret gel resin um, you will notice that it's stringy like if you apply the glue and then try to apply a top coat right after it's gonna be like it's gonna make your top coat like stringy and um, I don't really know how to explain it but you will notice that it's not dry so if you spray the activator on a glue and then apply the top coat right after the glue will be completely dry so that way I mean that's why I do highly suggest that you invest into the activator if you're going to be using the Soleil Nail Adhesive or the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator. But anyways, now I'm just going in with the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat. We're applying that on all of the nails and then we're going to cure for 60 seconds. So again, we're going to cure that hand for 60 seconds and then we're going to do the same thing on this same. We're just applying the bling with the Soleil nail adhesive. We're picking up the bling with the wax pencil, placing it on the nail and then just spraying them with the activator, applying the top coat and curing for 60 seconds.
Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. They turned out so pretty. Those colors just go so well together and I am just in love. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at getno32 and I'll see you guys next time.